fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight. we got, uh, got some more Beyonce for you. Yes, we do. This is a request from, I hope I pronounced this right, Ori A, or Ori A, I'm not sure which one, O-R-R-I-I, that's how you say it, and then A, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ori, I'm hoping it's Ori, Wanted me to react to Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, and Gary Clark Jr. doing a Stevie Wonder tribute. Now, I have no idea what this is going to be. I don't know what song. There's no song listing, so I have no idea. I, I know they're doing a tribute to Stevie Wonder. That's about all I know. So, have I heard this before? I'm willing to bet pretty much anything that I have not. So, I think we're safe there. Anyway, I know nothing about this really, so I guess the only thing we can do really is jump into it. This was posted by Joao Godenho. Godenho? Godenho? I don't know. Joao or Joao Godenho. I just I don't know. Uh, I'll put a link in there. You can check it out for yourself. This video has 542,296 views, so it'll get you there. Other than that, I got nothing else to say. Let's just get into this. The link to the original video will be down in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Other than that, let's get started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Tribute Stevie Wonder, Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, and Gary Clark Jr. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. Time out. CBS. Oh, boy. They have a tendency to block. Hope this doesn't get blocked. Block! Block! All right. Let's do this. All right, boy. Let's do this. Ah, there's the man. Hey, Tony Bennett. Hey, wait a minute there. That was Tony Bennett. Time out. What's he doing there? All right, we got to back it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Man, I love her voice. I really do. She's got such a great voice, a great vocal tone voice. More than that, I mean, okay, taking, uh, sorry, taking pitch out of the equation, taking tone, taking you know accuracy and in key out of the equation. Her tone is just so good. She's able and. She's able to control her tone and change her tone, like, on the fly. Like, one note, it could be deep, and the next note, it could be pinched. And that takes a lot of skill. It really does. Like, 
Unless you've taken vocal lessons, you just, you really don't know how difficult that is until you actually are trained. Everybody, like, everybody tries to do it and everybody thinks they're doing it. Not like that, they're not. Not that well. So good. Let's keep going. I think that's Ed Sheeran. I think that's who she announced he was, was Ed Sheeran. Ed, if that is Ed Sheeran, he's got a great voice too. And his, his voice is very conducive to this song. Um, he's got, I wouldn't even say it's grit. He's got just enough of a gruffness, just enough so that it's not sickeningly sweet. Give it a little bit of an edge. But he's singing well. He's singing on pitch. He's singing in key. Uh, he has that, like, I would almost say like a bluesy quality to his voice. I guess that's the best way to describe it. He's got a great bluesy voice. I wonder if he, does he do blues? I don't know. I mean, I don't know the first thing about the guy. I mean, is he a blues performer? Does he does he perform blues style songs? Because his voice would be very conducive for that style of music. Let's keep going. She's able to go from that open throat, deep, to upper range, pinch intentionally. She's not pinching because she's having a hard time getting the notes. She's pinching because that's what she feels is necessary for the tone of the note that she's singing. Big difference. And then, on the very next segment, she could add a little bit of gruffness to it. She's just everywhere with her vocal ability. I mean... Good Lord. I'm not a fan of the style of music that she plays. I'm not much into the pop scene. I'm really not. But I recognize her vocal talent and her vocal ability. And it is top, top, top notch. So, good Lord. Let's keep going. The attitude. Woo! Oh, you know what? I don't. I never thought I would ever do this with Beyonce. I'm gonna take that back. We're gonna hear that part again. That scat line. Yeah. No. Nate. Turn. It. No. I don't care. Hey, listen. This is my show. Look. If I want to take it back. I'm gonna take it back. We're not gonna sit there and pretend like that. That was that right there was not awesome. We're gonna hear that again. That scat line going down. Hell yeah, that was good. I don't care. You can play that pig noise all you want. I don't care. Stupid pig noise. Coming up right here. The attitude. Yes. Oh my god, that was awesome. Right with the horns. Right with them. Whew. 
on a descending line too. That was great. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going before I before I gush even more. Oh. Okay, I know this song. This is higher ground. I know this song well. Cool. Let I'm going to back it up a little bit. I want to hear his vocal into that again. Before she starts to sing, wow, Gary Clark Jr. coming in with that vocal line really well, paying homage to Stevie Wonder. Yeah, almost sounded like Stevie, almost, almost, but not quite. Very tastefully done on those vocals. That was awesome. Let's see what Beyonce is going to do here. Oh, yeah. See what I mean about her vocals? Like, they're just so diverse. Like, one minute she's singing sweet. The next minute she's got that soul power going. The next minute she's got a little bit of that gruffness. I mean, and she's arpeggiating everywhere within the chordal structure. Just the amount of talent that she has. And talent aside, the amount of flavor that she has like she knows in a very tasteful way she knows when to add the gruff she knows when to be soulful she knows when to be clean she knows when to be sweet she knows when to be open she knows when to pinch i mean she has such great feel and anticipation of when to use what and it's Whew! Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Got the wah pedal. That, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I'm not surprised to see her there. Was that Aretha Franklin? I do believe that is Aretha Franklin. My goodness.
my God. Bring that back. Bring that back. We got to hear that again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Woo! Play it! Nice. When you get, you're playing a Stevie Wonder song and you get him out of his seat and he's clapping for you like that, you know you did a good job. You know you did a good job. Woo! Yeah! That ending was... Phenomenal. That was fun. That was fun to watch. Fun to hear, too. Whew. Well, there you go, folks. That was Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, and Gary Clark Jr. with a nice Stevie Wonder tribute. I don't know if that was at, like, the Grammys. or It was on some show on CBS. I don't know what it was, but anyway. On a scale of 1 to 10... Oh boy. Do I give it the higher score? Hell yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm giving that a 9.1. Yep. 9.1. Cra yeah, you know what? Crazy horns. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. 9.1. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. So, start to finish, that was fun to watch. I mean, there was so much going on. You had people coming out, joining the show. I love I love collaborations like that, especially when the collaborations fit. So, you had Ed Sheeran come out. Now, I don't know the first thing about Ed Sheeran. I don't know. I don't know if he's a blues guy. I don't know if he's a pop guy. I, I don't know. I have no idea what kind of music he plays. But I could definitely see him being a blues style singer, a blues style vocalist. He's got the voice for blues. There is no question about that. Uh, you got Gary Clark Jr. coming out with that guitar. Now, I, I know Gary Clark Jr. can sing, but what he's really known for is his guitar playing. Man, that solo he did was really good with that wah. God, that sounded great. And he didn't overuse the wah like uh, I've seen a lot of other players do. When they just rely on that wah pedal to make their solo special, he what he could, he could have played that solo without the wah, and it would have sounded good. It would have sounded really good. The wah just add a little extra flavor to it. So, not needing it, but utilizing it in a very tasteful way. Now let's talk about. Oh, well, before I talk about Beyonce, let's talk about the orchestra that was back there, the band, the orchestra, whatever. I mean, top-notch musicians. Look, and CBS doesn't hire anything better than the best, anything less than the best. So, whenever they have award shows or whatever, and they need bands to perform with their musicians, they get the very best they can. I know because I tried and I got turned down flat out. I was pretty much laughed out of the room. I'm not good enough, and I know I'm not good enough. I'd like to be good enough. I'll keep working at it. Maybe one day I'll get in there. But as it stands right now, no, not even close. Uh, now, they always hire top-notch musicians with great feel, great appreciation, able to sight-read the songs, play the notes perfectly. So, of course, the backing band's going to be great. Let's talk about Beyonce, or as people refer to her as the Queen Bee. So, okay, Queen Bee, whatever. Queen, Queen Bee, whatever. Uh... I can't say enough about her and her ability to sing. I mean, everybody talks about how beautiful she is. Okay, yeah, she's a good-looking woman. I get that. I'm more focused and concerned about what she can do with her pipes. And Lord have mercy, she has got a set on her. She really does. 
She knows how to sing. Not just from a standpoint of pitch, not just from a standpoint of tone, but from all standpoints of vocal ability. I'm talking feel, interpretation. I'm talking about able to change on the fly her tone and her and her pitch, not, not her pitch, but her tone and her style. Like, one minute she's singing full throat open, the next she's pinching, the next after that she's adding gruff. After that she goes back into the swells. Then she's doing this scat that just, right with the horns, just unbelievable the things that she can do with her voice. Do I like her style of music? No, I don't like pop music. I can't stand pop music. However, I will say, from a vocal standpoint and from a talent and performance standpoint, she is one of the best in the business currently to date. So, yeah, all respect in the world to her, all the props in the world to her. And the fact that they were doing a Stevie Wonder song, in, or a couple Stevie Wonder songs, in front of the man himself, pretty cool. Very cool. And when he stands up and applauds your work, when it's, well, he applauds his work being done by you, you know you've done something right. So, did this blow my mind? Yeah, it kind of did. That's the truth. It kind of did blow my mind, which is why it's getting the 9.1, okay? So, 9.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more content like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like joining the fan base and clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please give this video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on this bell, you will be kept up to date with everything going on with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for today, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.